Unfortunately, this is what happens when you have an electric fence that the generator goes bad on and the bear decides to visit before you've had time to repair it. You can see comb and brood, honey. There's still a little bit left of the colony. I'm hopeful maybe that the queen's in there somewhere. But it's pretty bad. That's hive one. Hive two is uh, undisturbed, surprisingly. See, they're taking care of their dead comrades and just trying to clean things up. I have a few frames here. I have another one I could probably salvage. I still haven't found the queen though.
So this is what I salvaged. Some of those frames are completely empty. Some of them are mostly destroyed. I have two that are good and intact. I maybe have one brood frame left and put the water back in there, but I gotta go make some sugar water. I haven't found the queen. Uh, I don't know if she's in there. I looked and looked, but uh, there were a bunch of bees congregating on the two frames that were left in the hive. So maybe, uh, maybe she's still alive, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. If, uh, if not, there might be some brood in there they can raise up a new queen pronto. In the meantime, I'm um, still at risk for this hive getting taken out again or the other hive. So luckily that one's fine, hasn't been touched. To say I was a little bit devastated might be a bit of an understatement when I walked up to do my happy hive inspection and saw all of this, but I kind of had to just pick myself back up just like I had to pick up all the pieces of the hive and just put it back together and then went to Tractor Supply to get some new fencing in order to prevent this from happening again tonight. So I got new fence posts, I put those in as just a quick fence post that are fiberglass in order to run some wire and hook up a new energizer that is DC powered that connects into a deep cycle battery and has some quick disconnects so I can get in and out easily. I ran them as all hot. So it is putting out about 6,000 volts into the line. All three wires are hot with a big ground rod that I need to pound in further, but it's already about three foot in the ground, which is plenty for how small this is. I also repurposed the bucket and the recycling bin for covering up the battery and the energizer. And luckily this little guy made it through a little bit better than the hives themselves, but didn't do too much to protect us. I figured I would take the opportunity to expand the fence overall perimeter it used to start there and I expanded it out to here. I will need to get some stronger corner posts but this will do for now. By the time I finish the electric fence this is what the hive was doing. I really don't know what they are doing. The bees are trying to come back in and they have completely occluded the opening so I opened up the other vent so that they can get in there as well. I'll check on them tomorrow and see what's going on and see if I can figure that out. Hopefully the queen is in there and hopefully they make it.